Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Iron Man. Recently, we got back into doing Slayer, and that's like literally all we've been doing for the last few videos, has pretty much just been Slayer. So today, I want to change it up a bit. I want to do some skilling stuff, collection log stuff, completionist stuff, for a couple reasons. First thing is just to change up the pace of the videos because all we've been doing is Slayer. And secondly, because UIM Bingo is coming up in about a week as of the time of recording this. So I kind of want to save myself for doing Slayer then and just have like a chill week leading up to UIM Bingo. As you can see in the chat box, we just got the Jar of Smoke. That was the last task we just finished up with. We finished up with Thermi and now it is once again green and I say once again because I used to have it done until they add the jar but now we have the jar by 1160 KC which means I'm still very very lucky for Thermi. Alright I'm just clearing out the inventory taking care of a few things real quick. Um, today as of recording this the blowpipe nerf and a bunch of other changes came into the game but the main thing I want to talk about is the blowpipe nerf. So amethyst darts are going to be the main dart I'm going to use from now on which will be a lot more convenient to upkeep over time rather than addy darts because I could just go Go ahead and mine them anytime in the mining guild. However, before we mine them, um, it'd be nice to have the Varak Armor 4, so getting the Elite Diary done, because you get a 10% chance of getting double the amount of Amethyst for each one that you mine. And because Diary Cape is a goal on my account anyways, and we've been so close to it for such a long time, uh, we may as well get the Diary done before we start going and mining a bunch of Amethyst. You know what, for this first task that we're doing for the Varak Hard Diary, we have to get a Spotier Cape, and the Spotier Cape is actually storable in the POH as well as the Spotted Cape. So I think we'll actually go ahead and get the first to trade in for both of those capes so this way we can uh feed one bird with four kebits uh yes hello i heard you were a dashing kebit hello sir i would like to get some of your furry clothing i will take a spotted cape and spot your cape and then we just equip it and there's the diary task and then there's the other cape too. By the way, if you didn't know what these capes do, when you have them equipped, they make you lighter. So the spot cape reduces your weight by 2.2 kilograms, and the spider cape reduces your weight by 4.5 kilograms. If only we had these in real life, that'd be pretty nice. I remember I used the spot cape all the time back in like 07 or 08, um, but nowadays in old school runescape, it's pretty irrelevant with graceful existing. Uh, but we now have two more spots filled up. In the cape right, right over here. And there's a task. We'll use the Padua teleport, which has a very nostalgic animation for another task. Chop some U logs, burn some U logs. We have to purposely get scammed by this guy for 25k in order to get the task done, and then we could change it back to the whitewash stone for 7.5k. And the last task to do for the hard diary is just to pray at the altar here. And then we have a few more tasks to do in the elite diary. So we'll get these done and claim everything all at once. We have to bake a summer pie, which we need watermelon for. And the only watermelon I had planted was actually for an elite clue. I think it's elite, maybe it's master. Um, no, I think it's elite clue step. You had to plant watermelon seeds. So I did that clue step a while ago, but this patch that had the watermelons growing in it is dead and it's the only patch. So I'm gonna try to resurrect it and we'll see if it works. I'm gonna guess I probably didn't care enough to compost it at the time because you only have to plant it for the clue step, but let's see if it works. <gasps> yes, okay, and then we'll compost it now just to make extra sure that doesn't die. Then we'll come back to it in just a bit. We have to use plank make on 20 mahogany logs in the rock lumber yard. So I'm gonna have to do two separate trips for this and I'll grab my free mahogany logs over here. Bro, what, I literally, I'm so used to doing construction, I literally just turned all these into planks with the guy right here. <laughs> well, I haven't even trained construction in so long, dude. I have no idea why I just did that. I guess the muscle memory just like popped up in my head from a long time ago. Oh, do you guys want to hear probably the best sound in the game? Let me turn the volume up here. Then we'll cast Plank Make. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? And there's the plank task done. Strawberry acquired. The only way to get watermelons is by planting it yourself. Um, luckily it grew so we can make the raw summer pie. I have the cooking cape on, so even with 99 I'm pretty sure it could still burn it, but with the cooking cape you cannot burn anything, so there is the task. We got one more left to do. We need to make rune darts. I'm just gonna mine my own runite. Surely in the 2.2k world, there should be an empty open rune rock, right? No? Yes, found some. Last task is smith and fletch 10 rune darts within Varrock. So let's smith them on the anvil right here. Dart tips and then attach the feathers. 
And that is the last task for the Varrock Elite Diary. Come over to the guy over here. Nice cape, by the way. I'm uh, I'm working on it, working on it. Um, I'll put the rewards up on screen like I usually do, starting with the Hard Diary. I guess there's really nothing relevant actually from the Hard Diary. So now I'll go ahead and put the Elite Diary rewards up on the screen. The main reason why we got this diary done, like I said before, was the 10% chance to mine double Amethyst, which works for all the other ores below it too, but mainly because the Amethyst is something I'll be mining a lot of forever on the account unless they change the blow pipe again. Or if they make the amethyst darts untradeable, I don't know what I would do then actually. And then the other kind of cool thing is that the Varrock Armor 4 counts as a prospector top. Um, I know like I've had these diaries so close to being done for such a long time, especially the Varrock one. Like I feel like Western Provinces is understandable for the 1k Chompy KC. Um, but for the Varrock one, there's no reason why I haven't done it. I just haven't taken the time to go out of the way to actually do the diary until now because now I had an actual reason to go and do it. Then we got the diary lamps too, which I'll toss into prayer. There's 15k XP and there's 50k XP. 65k per XP. I guess we could uh, alk and drop a bunch of this stuff and put some stuff into the loon bag and put stuff away and we can head on over and start mining amethyst. Luckily with UIM partial storage, I don't have to hold on to the prospector jacket as I'm wearing the rock armor 4 for the perk. So I can just keep down the POH and not waste an inventory spot. Here we go, the second ever piece of amethyst mined on the account. I didn't camp amethyst at all on this account because I had no reason to. In fact, the last time I did amethyst was around the time it first came out. I think I was working on 99 mining on my main at the time, which was in June of 2017. I think I had like 97 mining. I was at Motherload at the time, and then Amethyst came out. I was like, whoa, this is even more AFK than Motherload. So you know I had to come over here to finish off the last couple levels on the main. I will get on record me getting two Amethyst at once. You'll see, you'll see. Oh, there it is. A. Hey. Oh, oh, frick. Yeah, we get the unidentified minerals too, which we trade in for the gloves. There's the regular, superior, and expert mining gloves, which are actually in the collection log. So those are things I actually want to get, even though they're not storable. And then with all this amethyst, once we start filling up the inventory, we can just use the chisel on them to craft them into amethyst dart tips and you get 60 crafting XP per eight dart tips. And then later this will translate into fletching XP once we actually make the darts. You need about 16K darts to fill up the blowpipe, so I'm not gonna get any more than that because I don't wanna commit a spot in the looting bag to the extra darts while I'm using the blowpipe. Wait, what is this ALK for actually? Cause I remember, this, this could actually kind of be a money maker, like on a UIM if you want to AFK. I think what some people do is like they go to magic trees or U trees and then like fletch them into unstrung bows and alk those. It's kind of like a money maker. On a UIM, you could get your mining up, mine amethyst, and then just alk the raw amethyst for 2.3k each. And by doing that, that'd be like 150k GP per hour. I mean, it's not like good money, but I mean, if you're poor, or you're doing some like very unique route on a UIM where you're starting with mining, that could be decent for that kind of situation because, you know, GP is all relative. Here's the first full evening slash night of mining amethyst. Um, I averaged a little bit under 16k mining XP per hour, which translates to about 60 amethyst per hour, which comes out to about 500 dart tips per hour, which is kind of less than I thought it'd be, but I also kind of just wasn't really thinking about it. You also have a one out of 20 chance of each amethyst that you mine to get an unidentified mineral, which means it's about three minerals per hour. And to get the expert mining gloves in total, we're gonna need 240 minerals, which means if I want to do amethyst the whole time, that's gonna be about 80 hours of mining amethyst. So that's pretty rough, dude. I don't know if I can commit 80 hours to being here um, just for one collection log slot. But then again, by the time we're done mining all the amethyst to fill up the blowpipe, we're gonna be like a decent chunk of the way into it. I could mine iron ore. I'd probably be like maybe 10 to 15 minerals per hour if I mined iron, so. Maybe I could hop over there at some point. Oh, dude, what am I doing with my life? I just spent a whole day, well, I guess six hours, but I'll be spending the whole day just mining amethyst, which is really weird because I'm so used to like actually doing active stuff, you know, where I'm like bossing or going around exploring or doing whatever throughout the day. But today was just uh, the first time I've had a chill day in a while where I don't actually even play the game. I just sit here and like mindlessly browse YouTube or whatever. Really weird feeling, but I'm um, about to get nerd logged. Let's see, that's 14 hours of amethyst today. 
Fun day. Oh, that's a big one right there. Level 96 mining. So far, we're at almost 12k amethyst dart tips and we're at 89 unidentified minerals out of the 240, like I said, that we need earlier. Um, which I also said earlier that I want to move over to the iron ores at some point. So maybe like in my AFK time, I'll go back to the amethyst. And then during the day when I'm just playing the game, I'll be mining the iron ore over here. As I mentioned before, the odds of getting the minerals from amethyst is 1 out of 20, whereas with iron it's 1 out of 100. But of course, we can mine iron way faster, and overall, um, it should be like 4 times more minerals per hour or something. And you know what, actually, before anything else, I'm gonna go die to his spore because it makes no sense to keep all this stuff in my inventory, especially because next time I go back to PVM or Zora or whatever we end up doing for UIM Bingo, I'm gonna have to die to his spore anyway, so we may as well just do it right now when it would help to have have an empty inventory anyways. Oh, I guess I got a few things in here. Okay. All right. Oh, much better. Look at that beautiful clean inventory. I can mine in peace now. There's this plugin from the plugin hub that I showed in a previous video that's called custom left click drop. And it does exactly what it sounds like. You can add items onto the list and it lets you left click drop them. So I added iron ore onto there and now I can just left click to drop it. I'm not holding down shift right now or anything. By the way, when the Vrock armor procs and you get two of the ore, you do get a chance to get the minerals from both of the ores, which is pretty nice. When you mine double the ore, you also get double the XP as if you mine two separate ores, which you could see as an example from this rock that we're about to mine right here. You know, like in school, oh, there we go. Uh, I was gonna say like, you know, in school when there's like a word limit, like, you know, when you have to meet the minimum word count for a paper, so you just add a bunch of like fluff and filler to the paper. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's get back to mining. Okay, according to the XP tracker, I just spent like five and a half hours mining iron. I averaged about 45k XP per hour and the math did check out. I ended up getting like 13 minerals per hour, but uh, I have to go back to the POH now to grab a chisel and we'll get back to AFK Amethyst because I like to AFK a lot. I guess this video is pretty much turning into the mining video and there's actually a part of mining I've never done before and that would be shooting stars. There's a couple things in the collection log and shooting stars is also how you get the recolored mining outfit which I do want to get unlocked on the account. Um, if we go into the armor case here, you'll see there's also two separate outfits for the POH. There's the regular prospector kit and then the recolored one so I mean I'd kind of like to get both of these eventually just because I like filling up the POH, but we have to get the golden recolor from doing shooting stars. You know, as I said, I've never done this before, and I think it's really cool. Like, I'm learning all this stuff on my UIM. Um, there are a few different plugins in the plugin hub that would help you with shooting stars based on how you want to do it. Um, there's this one which allows like everyone in the game who has this plugin to like find the stars together. So it's kind of like using the clan chat, which there are a few clans for shooting stars by the way. Or if you just want to do it yourself, you can hop worlds and then track the shooting stars. I'm not sure which plugin it is, maybe a couple of them. Um, but like it writes down the shooting star locations for you as you hop through worlds and search for them. Um, using the telescope in the POH, which I don't have built. I think I'm just going to do this one, the crowdsourcing one. And then we have a little thing here for shooting stars. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, it's really sick. It's organized by time as well, and it says there's one about to spawn in Great Karen. Um, so we can take the wiki over here, and the wiki shows you the locations for all the different shooting stars, and it organizes it by each of the areas. Well, apparently uh, the CCs are star miners, and then there's also star miners too. Oh wow, there's a lot of people in here. Oh see, okay, someone right here called out a uh, 496 drainer, so let's try that. We should be hopping right into a shooting star. Oh, it's beautiful, just like that. It's right here. Oh, like all the, all the clan people are here too. So this is what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of stardust. Let me check actually what we need. I guess someone <laughs> right here is asking as well. Oh, I guess that kind of answers the question right there. Uh, we need 12K for the full outfit, so I guess 3K per piece of prospectors. And then the ring is also 2K that we need for the collection log. So as you can see by the amount of Stardust we've mined so far, this is probably going to take a while. That's okay. That's why I signed up for when I started playing UIM. Things taking a while. Okay, then it like goes into a lower tier, and then we mine it again. It's really interesting. Oh my god, that guy's mining the cat. Um, it's really interesting because the lower the tier the star gets, the more stardust the star has in it for that tier. But the lower chance you get of getting the additional dust. By the way, the Varak armor doesn't give you like extra dust from shooting stars, but it does still give you the boost for like wearing the full mining outfit for the XP. This is great. I love the camaraderie here. It's like a really social activity and uh, everyone's getting along very well with each other. Is this the final tier? Is it about to go away after the miners mine it? 
Yes, it is. Okay, so we got a little bit over 200 Stardust. I already found the next one that we're going to be going to. So um, it's not too bad, especially with the CC. I probably won't even use that plugin, to be honest. I'll probably just use the CC. Oh, this boulder is a big boy. Oh, sorry. Uh, It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Oh, from this last shooting star, we end up getting like 250 or something. By the way, you can always check what tier of star it is if you prospect it. So this one is size three and it gives you a little bit of other information too. All right, they're doing the draft for bingo right now. I was in the random pool and uh, the team I'm on, I don't know if you can really see that. Let me make this bigger. I'm on the cannabis crack connoisseurs, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be part of the CCC team. I'm trying to get my boy Vegas Knight on the team. He's like 1700 total and it's his first bingo. He's a sleeper pick, dude. It'll be the best pick the bingo draft. Oh, interesting. They're saying that if there's a shooting star in Prif, then there's a 1 out of 128 chance, I guess, per mine, that you get crystal shards from it too. Oh yeah, see, there's a crystal shard. Um, you also get gems from all the shooting stars as well, as you can see in my inventory. Okay, all the teams have been picked. I did get my boy Vegas Knight on the team. Uh, unfortunately, Spook Dog was not in this UIM bingo, so she's not on the team. But got my boy Vegas Knight, who's actually my IRL friend. Some of you might remember him from previous videos. He's Vegas Knight in-game. He's Chad IRL. You may know him from the IRL videos, too. Uh, the Mountain Dew, uh, I don't know what the flavor's called. Uh, the new one. <laughs> Can I have two of those in a large, please? Because I know we were running low on them. Understandable. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I don't have it. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry All right. for that. All right, no worries. Thank you. World star. World star. World star. Trash boy. <laughs> He knows how to ride a board, but he doesn't know how to like actually do tricks on a skateboard. Look at him. He's a sick ollie, bro. <laughs> this is uh, RuneScape, the IRL DLC. Graphics are pretty bad. Would not recommend. Contrary to popular belief, the name of the team, the Cannabis Crack Connoisseurs, does not refer to anything that breaks any kinds of terms of service. It is in fact a reference to taking an interest in cracks found within structural foundations. I just want to make that very clear. Wait, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to hop to uh, the world the start isn't on. And then what if I go to this spot and then hop back to the world that the star is on? Will I be like stuck under it? Or will I be pushed over to the side or something? Oh, I just get pushed over, okay. By the way, as I'm recording this, UIM Bingo doesn't start for, I think it's six more days, and then it lasts for 10 days, I think it is. But by the time you see this video in real time, uh, there's a good chance UIM Bingo has already ended because the videos are behind. But that's okay because most of you don't play UIM and have no idea what's going on in the UIM community. So you won't know the spoilers then. There's like a bit of a waiting period every once in a while. So while we're waiting for the next period of like stars to start coming out, um, let's go ahead and buy something from this guy over here. This is where you spend the star list that you get. So there's the star fragments, which is the recolor 3k per piece of prospector, and then the celestial ring, which is 2000 stardust, and that's what we're going to buy. Oh yeah, it's the new slot for the log. Uh, when you have it equipped, you get an invisible plus four mining boost, and you don't need any charges on the ring to get the boost. Um, but if you do charge it though, it costs one stardust per charge and it gives you a one out of 10 chance of mining double ore and you get double the XP when that effect happens but that means it doesn't work for Amethyst, so I have no reason to charge it. You know, thinking about now, I probably should have rushed to get the Celestial Ring before I started really getting into mining the Amethyst for that plus four boost, but at the end of the day, I'm AFKing here super hard, so it really doesn't matter. Dude, mining these shooting stars is like mega crafting XP as well, because we're getting all these gems from it. Oh wait, <laughs> wait, they're, okay, they're both mining on the same one, and then I actually know this guy, it's the UIM Yoga. He said, you mined, mine goblin on... He's nuts. <laughs> Dude, something just hit me right now. I just realized last bingo, I was in the Cannabis Cat Girls, and once again, I am on another Cannabis team. But this time, we inspect the cracks. Whoa, I think it's the first time I've seen two different spider pets next to each other, the Seractinus one and the Venonatus one. They do look really similar now that they're like right next to each other. I never really thought about that. I know I originally said I was only going to stay at Amethyst until I got 16k darts just to fill up the blowpipe. But because Bingo's coming up, I don't want to spend time during Bingo mining Amethyst, which would be really inefficient for the mining tile. I'd rather either keep on PVMing or do like faster skills. 
Um, so instead, just for now, just for bingo, I'm gonna go beyond 16k darts and have like an extra stack of it. But after bingo, I'm not gonna have an extra stack of amethyst darts, just 16k. I mean, odds are I probably wouldn't even go through 16k darts during the 10 days of bingo, but I'd rather be extra prepared. Yeah, you always wanna need something but not have it. Wait. No, frick, wait. <laughs> it's better to have something and not need it than to need something but not have it. There you go. Whoa, it's a tier 9 star. Oh, dude, these vampires here are level 61, so if you're not double their level plus 1, you get attacked. Wow, this would be such an embarrassing place to die, honestly. I'm sure no one could ever actually die to one of these vampires, though. Don't be ridiculous. Pretty much the whole day today, I went back and forth between doing Amethyst and Shooting Stars, because the Shooting Stars kind of, like, come in waves. I think I was saying it before. Um, like, a bunch of them will all come at once, and then there's, like, an hour in between, like, the next wave of Shooting Stars or something. So it, I guess it's kind of hard to determine the XP per hour, but... Considering Amethyst was also like a little bit under 20k, um, I guess mining the shooting stars comes out to being around maybe a little bit over 20k XP per hour. And there we go, we have the 240 minerals that we need to get the highest tier of the gloves. Now a long time ago when I first started the account, I think I was going for like 70 mining or something, um, I did do some iron ore mining and I did buy the regular mining glove, so I do already have those in the collection log. But I don't have these. You, uh, you need the regular mining gloves and the superior ones to combine them to make the expert one. So that's what we're going to be doing. We'll go ahead and trade Bologna. And then there's the regular mining gloves, which are 60 minerals. The superior mining gloves, which are 120. And then it costs 60 minerals to combine them both. I think we just talked to her. Can you combine my mining gloves? Uh, which apparently you also need 70 mining for 60 minerals. That's fine, and there we go, we have the Expert Mining Gloves. So that's uh, two more slots now filled up for the Collection Log. What the Mining Gloves do is based on the tier that you have, it gives you a chance of an orb not depleting when you mine it. Um, for the regular ones, it's Silver, Coal, and Gold. The Superior ones work for Mithril, Addy, and Rune. And then when you combine those two together and you get the Expert ones, it works for all of them, which also adds on Amethyst as well, which gives you a 25% chance of not depleting Amethyst when you mine it. Um, it's not not part of a set or anything so unfortunately you can't store them in the POH they don't give like any XP boost or anything but it's gonna make amethyst mining even more reclined than it already was you can also toggle the minerals off so we don't get them from the amethyst anymore but I'm just gonna leave it on because I don't care it's kind of cool to see how many we get and uh, we have I think it's three days left till bingo now so I think I'm just gonna end up staying at amethyst the whole entire time well I still have to finish getting the outfit recolor but beyond that I think I'll just stay at amethyst I might do a couple of other small things to prep for bingo but um, my life for the next few days is just gonna be AFKing and editing videos really because during the bingo itself I don't want to have to waste time prepping supplies or whatever you can see the expert gloves in action like after I mine it it doesn't deplete and I just keep on mining and I mean theoretically I could mine a full inventory in just one click if that 25% chance just keeps procking over and over and on top of that I'm also wearing the rock armor so sometimes I get two ores at once even well, I kind of caught this one in time the total XP milestone, 490 mil XP, which means the next XP milestone is going to be a really big one. Only one more Stardust to go, and there it is, 12,000 Stardust. We can now afford all four Star Fragments to recolor the Prospectors. Okay, to Surrey, there's the Star Fragments, 3,000 each. We'll go buy all four of them. In total, it's kind of hard to tell how long it took because, like I mentioned before, they kind of come in waves, but maybe like 15 hours or something of doing shooting stars in total to get all four of these and the ring as well. Um, and then I have the other piece of the prospectors in the POH, so I'm going to grab that out. Okay, we got the full prospectors. Do we just use it on there, I assume? You can't undo this. It's not attachable like an ornament kit. It just gets destroyed when you combine it, so let's go ahead and do that. Apparently, with the helmet, it doesn't even do anything, so let's see. That's what the helmet looks like now, and then we'll attach it. And that's what it looks like after. <laughs> there's not much of a difference. But there's the full outfit. It looks freaking sick. So I'll put the top in there and just wear the rock armor. And uh, yeah, let's get back to mining Amethyst and not playing the game. And the section in the log is green now. I always love seeing the green. And there's a mining level. 97 mining. Holy. <laughs> um, okay, cool. We are like six hours away from the next crafting level. So I think I want to get that level before we wrap up the video. So that'll be the last thing that we're going to do is... 
just more amethyst. Wait a second, if I'm this close to 3k XP away, I could probably just exchange these minerals to get the bag full of gems and then chisel the gems and then get the crafting level that way. So we'll buy a uh, bag full of gems are 20 minerals each. I have no use for soft clay, so we'll just buy a bunch of these and we get an onyx. No. I guess this tip is kind of going to be a bit more useful for UIMs, but whenever you have a resource that you're going to use up, but you either don't feel like dropping or if you want to sell it to make a bit of money, you can, there's a few places you can go to, but right here, this guy Arnold in the Piscator's Fishing Colony, he counts as a bank and as a general store. If you try to trade him, you can see there's items here. So we could unnote these sapphires on him, chisel them all, and then we can go ahead and trade him and then could sell gems here just like any other general store you could sell any random item there's other places you could do this too like the rogues den is probably a really popular option um it is like a tiny run from the bank to the general store guy but yeah let's go ahead and get the level here very soon oh here it is 95 crafting zenite bracelets i mean it doesn't really matter because we can mushroom pie which gives you a plus four um so we can mushroom pie to make anything at this point but I guess now we don't have to boost for that if I ever want to go and make the tormented bracelet. Now let's take a look at how much XP we gained. We'll start with the lower one, so we'll start with the crafting XP. In total, we gained about 250k crafting XP throughout the last... Wait, let me check how many days I've been mining amethyst for. Apparently, it's been one week of mining amethyst on the UIM, and let's see how much mining XP we have gained in one week of amethyst. 1.4 million holy that's a lot of mining xp dude we got 31.5k amethyst start tips i think i was saying before that i would get an average of like 500 per hour which means i spent a little bit over 60 hours mining amethyst in the last week this is like all i've been doing and i think i was saying before it's just really weird like not playing the game is what it feels like i'm just not really doing anything then of course the time spent getting the recolor for the outfit and some of the mining xp came from there as well so it wasn't all just from the amethyst um and then we also got all these clues to open i'm not going to just leave you hanging we got some uh we'll start with the beginners so see if we can get anything new here yeah, make sure you uh, do your beginner clues, guys. Then we have seven easy clues to open. Okay, there's a new one right there. All right, all right. Oh, oh, oh wait, no, we have both these already. Frick, okay. Uh, let's keep going. Let me drop a few items real quick. I want to alk some things, but we get any fire runes. Okay, now one more easy clue. All right, super mega rich UYM, by the way, don't forget. All right, then we got uh, five medium clues to open. Any ranger boots? I probably just jinxed it by saying that. Oh, okay. Um, apparently not new for the collection log. And one more. Oh, hmm. And the red boater is new as well. Okay, just kidding, that's not happening. Huh, apparently uh, Zami pages are only less than 20k. For some reason in my head, I thought they were like over 100k, but... Well, I guess prices have been crashing. Not that I would know, though, as a UIM. I'm going to open the Elite Clue before the hard, because I like hard clues better. All right, all right. And then last but not least, here we go. Plus Dehyde. All right. And then which of these are new? So I think we have the apron already. We have the shield already. Uh, the blue skirt, that was new. Uh, Ancient Miter. We have that. And then the red boater. I know that was new. Cool. It's always nice getting a few more things stored away in the POH. Only missing two boaters now. And the last symbolic thing that we have to do before we wrap up the video is uh, ALK these items, the Celestial Ring and the Expert Mining Gloves, because there's no place to store them. You can't like trade them. All right, dude. Uh, you can't trade them back in for anything. All right, well, <laughs> that was a bit underwhelming. All right, I'll drop them and then we're going to leave the POH and then we're going to go back into the POH. All right, never mind. <laughs> I swear, like, I always run into crystal implings when I'm not looking for them. Like, I swear every time I come to Priv. All right, well, I mean, those are kind of useless, too. I could drop those to the main that has a decent value, kind of. I guess not so much anymore. Bingo starts in less than two days, so we're going to start off next video by doing some prep, and then we'll get into it probably starting with Zora. So we're going to be wrapping up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time. With the Varak Hard Diary done, I can finally access the Cook's Guild Bank.